too. Yes. It's, it's those things. So you have said your wound is not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. Mm. What do you think is the first step in that healing process? I think the first step in, in the healing process, I think, do you know what? I think it is really self-compassion. Mm. Okay. Cause we give ourselves such a hard time over so much. We have huge expectations. We are so unrealistic with the, the pressure we put on ourselves, but we yeah. don't know that we don't understand that because we're not taught it, you, you know, and we, we carry on with our lives as they were. We think we've got to go back to work full time. We've still got to be super mum. We've got to keep the house clean. We've got to cook healthy dinners from scratch. We've got to see everyone as we used to see them, be governor at the school, be the volunteer, down at the local, do, do, you know, and it's like, yeah. and take on all the roles that your partner had in, in life because, you know, they all fall onto you now as well. Yeah. And, and, and grief is a full-time job, right? You know, and some with, without the days off for the sick pay or, or the annual yeah. leave, you know, it's, it is relentless and that there's no getting away from it, but we, we don't show ourselves any compassion in it. We just beat ourselves up because we didn't do this and we didn't do that. And we could have done it better. And why haven't I achieved this day? And I didn't even cook the kids, di- you know, and yes. it's just this constant, criticism and judgment on ourselves Mm -hmm. and it just makes us feel horrendous and I think if the first thing you can do is show yourself some compassion some kindness some grace you know and just (laughs) take a step back breathe and think about what you need in that moment you know regardless of everything that you're telling yourself you should be doing it's like what do I need what do I need right here and now and if we can tap into that I think that that it helps us hugely on our grieving journey yes it is it's that word it's expectations because it's not Mm. just the expectations that we have on ourselves for doing everything Mm. but it's the perceived expectations just from everyone Mm. that's watching you yeah yeah. You're watching you be mm. a widow. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's like, what do I do? What are, what's the right <clears throat> thing to do here? Yeah. What What's, should I yeah. be doing? Yeah. <laughs> what should I be doing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's getting rid of that word should, isn't it? 